The city of Gulf Shores has posted purple flags at the public beach area after a sighting this morning of shark activity near the swimming area. That's where News 5's Debbie Williams joins us now live with more on this story. Debbie? Mel, there were at least seven sharks reportedly sighted near Lifeguard Tower 3 this morning. That prompted the purple flags to go up, but it didn't keep people out of the water. A shark scare before a big holiday weekend is not something any beach community wants. Don't let this uh, ruin your Labor Day holiday weekend if you're planning on coming to the beaches. Shark activity near the public beach area prompted city leaders to post purple flags warning beachgoers about the potential danger. It was in front of the swimming area at our public beach, which gives us a little more um, cause to react with a purple flag. It means, you know, caution. There is dangerous marine life, and, you know, you just need to tread carefully. Jaden Cox didn't let the purple flag stop him from enjoying a day at the beach. I don't let it, you know, ruin my day or, like, maybe, you know, just stay, like, you know, scared. I mean, I get in the water, but I do, I always do, you know, keep my wits about me. More than a dozen species of sharks are native to this part of the Gulf of Mexico. Many can be seen on a daily basis at Gulf State Park Pier, much to the chagrin of anglers. Uh, look at this, yeah. And while occasionally shark sightings are made closer to shore, the fin you see in the water is more likely to belong to a dolphin than a shark. People do get dolphins and sharks mixed up. You see a fin, oh, you think shark. But dolphins are shaped differently than sharks. The Gulf is home to all kinds of marine life, and it's important to remember that we are the visitors. There's always going to be some of that activity offshore. So, again, when you go in the water, just be careful. And, of course, uh, the, the purple flags are still up for now. They're only up at Gulf Shores beaches. They continue to monitor the situation. They are expected to come down first thing tomorrow morning. Live on the Baldwin County Beating Gulf Shores, Debbie Williams, News 5.